would like today to talk about a very uh, common condition which we as uh, doctors and particularly as gynecologists are seeing more and more often uh, over the last few decades. Uh, this is um, uh, across the world, this is probably one of the commonest uh, reasons why people are visiting the gynecologist chamber and bet between the years of about uh, teenage years to uh, throughout the reproductive age group basically, women may come with a, this condition called polycystic ovaries. And, um, but of course it's much more common in the younger people. So we get many adolescents, teenagers, uh, 20 year olds and <clears throat> apparently for various reasons this condition is on the rise across the world. Uh, whether it is in the um, developing parts of the world or it is in the developed parts of the world, polycystic ovaries are certainly increasing in number. Now the point is polycystic ovaries are not exactly a gynecological condition per se. There is a gynecological element to it which is why most women will come to a gynecologist chamber. But the origin is it is a metabolic condition, predominantly a metabolic and endocrine disorder. What we call an endocrine disorder, that means the disorder of the hormones, probably originating from the hormones are coming from the brain. So we say the hypothalamo-pituitary axis produces hormones which ultimately affect all the um, endocrine glands through the body. The problem, the problem in polycystic ovary is it is a combination of these hormones which are being wrongly produced in the pituitary and metabolic conditions um, which are ultimately leading to polycystic ovaries. The, poly the polycystic ovary is just a sign which uh, for a common people we say polycystic ovary it is an ultrasound uh, sonographically recognized feature where the ovaries are polycystic but actually the condition is much more deep set it is a metabolic and endocrine disorder so the polycystic, the polycystic ovaries that we see are an incidental finding but the etiology is the meta metabolic problem and endocrine problem that means a hormone problem and therefore all our management has to be addressed to such not so therefore uh, when we say endocrine problem and metabolic problem if the metabolic problem is the uh, basically a condition we call insulin resistance we know that insulin is a hormone in the body but and we find uh, and is very important for glucose metabolism sugar metabolism in this condition of polycystic ovaries we have found that insulin uh, resistance is present that means basically that the body is producing insulin but the body is not the target organs are not being used um, are insensitive to the circulating insulin in the blood then this condition is called insul insulin resistance and we have found that the majority of people with polycystic ovaries have insulin resistance and the moment you have insulin resistance, it is associated, uh, mainly associated with obesity, polycystic ovaries classically associated with obesity, insulin resistance, elevated blood glucose level and at a later stage in life, more, many more of them are liable to develop diabetes mellitus among other endocrine so this is a prop so now we need to recognize that it is not really a gynecological problem of only polycystic ovary but much more deep set endocrine disorder metabolic disorder we also and it is on the rise we realize that perhaps the lifestyle that we are having now is encouraging it to go on the rise so therefore what do we mean therefore perhaps the uh, poor exercise poor diet, sedentary lifestyle, these are the reasons why uh, the ra there is a rise of poly polycystic ovarian syndrome um, and uh, this is also we find a rise in diabetes mellitus also across the world we know that the, uh, the incidence of diabetes mellitus is rising. So this is exactly the similar condition in insulin uh, insisted incidence sorry of uh, polycystic ovaries is also right how does a patient come generally the patients come to us with various complaints for instance the teenagers might come with acne and excessive hair they might come with less periods scanty periods what we call oligomenorrhea 
then once she, the lady gets married, she might come to us with failing to fall pregnant. And of course, there will be a large proportion who will also be obese, and that will be their predominance. So, accordingly, the treatment uh, we manage up, uh, the girls or the ladies uh, depending upon the presenting complaint. So, obviously, if she has come to us with less, uh, you know, in uh, scanty periods, or we, this treatment will be very different from someone who has come to us with a problem of acne and excessive hair growth, and obvious, and also different from someone to, who has come with perhaps infertility. But the root of all the treatments should be a change in lifestyle, and therefore. Um, should include diet and exercise and weight reduction. This is the basis of all the management because the maximum of polycystic ovaries, uh, ladies suffering from polycystic ovaries, are overweight. And therefore, no matter what their other symptoms are, the reasons why they have come to the gynecologist chamber, um, whether it be infertility or infrequent periods or excessive hair growth or acne, but Basically, the treatment is directed towards weight, weight reduction because only by weight reduction do we actually direct uh, our treatment to the main source of the problem that is insulin resistance. So that in that uh, regard, we, uh, we put these ladies on a proper diet, calorie controlled diet, on a proper exercise regime and the drugs like there are certain drugs like metformin classically which is also added in people who in spite of you a diet and exercise are not being able to lose weight uh, we add metformin a drug called metformin which Im improves the problem of insulin resistance so this is in a nutshell uh, an overview of polycystic ovary which is really becoming a common more and more common condition which is very related to the lifestyle that more and more youngsters are, are having which is sedentary lifestyle and poor diet, um, fast food etc.